Okay, let's try to create our own Git repository and add some files to it. First we create a repository or directory. Uh, okay, let's create it first. And enter it. Okay, the Git repository is created by uh, using the command git init, which will create an empty git repository inside the directory. And the next step is to add some files. If you take a look at the files inside the directory, we can see there is a new subdirectory known as .git, which contains the entire git repository. We will just create a, a small uh, test uh, file. Sorry. Like this and uh, print hello world. And it seems to work, so we can add it to Git. So Git can track it over time. Finally, we can commit it. And add a small message. Uh, like this, and then we can see the history of the repository here. We have the we have the master branch and it's the uh, initial commit. To add more commits we need to either add more files or change the program. commit or second commit and then we can just uh, keep on going. Um, instead of using the command line there is a tool known as git GUI that can be helpful. Here we get a graphical overview of what has changed and the files that uh, git knows about. So we will just uh, state them to commit and add a commit message. Uh, have some uncommitted change. This is a, a swap file that's not lying around. 